feed the birds. Uh -huh. It's left of my corn muffin. Marcus Conti reporting. Where am I today? Well, where am I at this moment? Here at Zuccotti Park. Ah, you remember? Occupy Wall Street. Remember all the tents, the tent cities, the the hippies banging on drums. They wanted to they wanted to squash income and wealth and equality in our country. They were fighting the good fight. It was Wall Street's problem. You remember? 2011? Look at it now. There's no re there's no there's no memory of it at all, right? We got the uh it's the uh, World Trade Center, the Freedom Tower. Freedom Tower is behind it. And the fountains, right? Wall Street is that way. It's going to go that way. So, I guess this is an open letter to Joe Biden. Joe Biden. Shit sandwich, Joe Biden. I want to talk about it because at this time in America, I got to compete with the sirens. So, hold on a second. New York's bravest. New York's bravest. Woo woo woo! New York's bravest going to save a life. You should go save Joe, Joe Biden's life. All right, here's the deal, right? So, the election is um, the election is a year and a half away. However, the Democrats are are jockeying to put their candidate, their corporatist candidate, up front. The initial idea was, hey, yeah, Joe Biden. <laughs> yeah, Joe Biden. And people love Joe Biden. He's, he's uh, Obama. Yeah. Right? And now he's now the Gaff King is he's coming out. He's got he's got his foot in his mouth, right? And saying, telling the American people, nothing will change. Right? Income and uh, income and wealth inequality in this country, it's not a problem. We're not going to fix that because because there's nothing wrong with it. It's really a social issue, right? It's the social issues, right? We'll give you, uh, we'll give you co-ed bathrooms or something or some other ridiculous GBLT fucking thing, right? But but don't talk about the money, right? Don't talk about income and wealth and equality. So, again, Joe Biden has been caught soliciting billionaires for money, telling them that nothing will change. We're gonna take care of you. Right? Given no, refuses to look at income, uh, uh, universal single payer health care for all. Right? It's time to go, yo. Right? You're hurting the country. Right? So the Democrats have their five candidates right now. As of now, it looks like the top candidates are ba -da -ba -da -ba -boom, Joe Biden because of the corporate push. Right? Uh, Kamala Harris because of the race card. She's black. Oh, she's black. Because you're black, you got to vote for black. Black. All right, so she'll play the race card and lose. Joe Biden will play the no change card and he'll lose. Who else you got? You've got Elizabeth Warren, who talks a good talk, but ultimately is a, is a turncoat. <laughs> is, a, is a Democrat. I'm a Democrat. All right, she'll, she'll sell out. She'll sell you out faster than Obama sold you out. First lady in the White House. And Trump will eat her alive. She'll never be able to... <laughs> she'll never be able to handle that blow. Right? But in 2011, in this very park, a couple of brave souls told us. They held their ground and they told us that the problem is, the problem is and always has been the problem of income and wealth inequality stems from Wall Street the greed of the bank the banking industry the six banks that control everything that are above the law they told us all about it and before that Bernie Sanders was screaming from the rooftops saying the same thing so you've got the three corporatist candidates Joe Biden Elizabeth Warren uh, Kamala Harris right? you got Mayor, Mayor Pete forgot about it Forget about it, Mayor Pete, right? Right now, 
Joe Biden is hurting the country because he's in the way. He's cock-blocking the, the favorite, which is Bernie Sanders. Now, Bernie Sanders is not the ideal candidate, but Bernie Sanders encompasses everything, everything that Occupy Wall Street represented to get money out of politics, to take on the big banks, to give universal single-payer health care for all, to college tuition at city and state universities free. Now we're going one step further, eliminate student debt. Military industrial complex, stop the insurgency wars. Bernie Sanders encompasses all of that. So does a lesser known candidate, Tulsi Gabbard. But this isn't her time. This is, this is a time to win with Sanders and build a cabinet that could, can, can make it. Now, spare me, you know, I know, Trump, Trump fans. Trump is making America great again. The economy has never been so good. Blacks are employed. Hispanics are employed. We're going to build a wall. Tax breaks for the wealthy. Spare me the, spare me the lecture. Spare me saying socialist commie motherfucker 25 times. While I'm fighting for you, you call me a socialist communist. That's so stupid. So, but you're, you're welcome to, you know, post your stupidity. So, Joe Biden, you're hurting the country. It is time for you to go, go, go. Go, 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 Joe. You have no chance of winning. None. You have no chance of mustering the support of the thinking populace that knows the problem. None. Don't even try. Having said that, now you know the you you, you know that you, you know you know you know what I mean? You know. <laughs> you guys are right up my ass. <laughs> you know that I know you know that you can't win. Bow down. Other Democrats bow out. Step aside, man. Step aside and let the winner win. Get behind Sanders. Green New Deal. Right? The real one. Not the fake one that, the, that the, uh, the POC ladies are talking about. The real one. Where we squeeze the big, uh, big uh, oil. Make them pay their fair share. Right? Solar panels on every roof. <laughs> Wind farms. Solar farms. High-speed rail. Education for all, if you want it. Right. Deflate the, the debt bubble. Right. Squeeze out the 1%. Make it pay. Right. An economy that res resembles the 40s and the 50s. The great generation of, of prosperity and American dream and hope. The possibility of working a job having a family, a car, a house, having property. Those days are over, but they're not, they're not forgotten because the billionaires are taking your money, right? The corporations are taking your money. And if you support this direction and you think that somehow it's a, a deep state thing or any of that nonsense, right? When the real problem is the banking, Merrill Lynch, Goldman Sachs, Morgan Stanley, J.P. Morgan Chase, Wells Fargo. The big banks that are killing you, the investment banks. Without addressing that, we address nothing. And Joe Biden represents, represents the worst of the worst. He's worse than Hillary Clinton. He's just a guy who's going to get out, he's going to... He's gonna run, and if elected, he's just gonna get out of the way and let the let the let the let the thieves run the run the field. Right? It's time for you to go, Joe. Step aside. 